Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash, the Bawanas to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek out there doing his work of faith and labor of love, truth, sincerity. Right, I want to get into a, um, a quick lesson. I think I'll entitle it um, uh, The Clarity of Our Hope. All right. And I'm going to start off in the book of Proverbs 29 and 18. And it says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. And, you know, uh, to get straight to the point, you know, they say, um, what's that common saying? I'm, I'm not too good with them quotes and stuff like that. But they say, uh, in order to know, to get to where you're going, you got to know where you're from or, or vice versa. However the saying goes, you know. And the reason that our people truly have no vision for the future, they try to plan out visions for the future, so-called. They say, yeah, if we could get this from the government or we could do this and we could have reparations and we could, you know, I could build this and, you know what I'm saying, set this up through the communities. No, you can't do all of that. Why? Because you truly don't have the vision. So the people is only going to continue to perish because where does the vision start? The, the, the vision started back in our homeland where we're from. Jerusalem, how the scriptures say Jerusalem, which is uh, free and above us all, you know, uh, is the mother of us all, something to that effect, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, man, you know, that's where it all starts from. But since our people don't have a clear understanding of where we're actually from, we're all scattered uh, mentally as people. Some people thinking they from this African tribe, this African tribe. You know, Pan-Africanism, all these different uh, worldly philosophies and, you know, people believe that they children of the sun and children of the corn and all these different things. How can you get together to put a full vision or uh, 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 to actually see the vision and to put that vision into action, man? You can't because you're not all on one accord. And the scriptures talk about us being all on one accord, you know, and um, uh, uh, first Corinthians, uh, the first chapter, man, you know, one in ten. So since our people don't have that all in mind, everything that they're doing is going to come to naught because the vision starts with our homeland and, our, and the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father gave to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to pass on down to us. That's why it says, but he that keepeth the law happy is he. Because when you uh, uh practicing the law by faith, when you're rehearsing the righteous acts by faith, that shows that you have the vision because you trust in the process that the Lord has set up for us and you following the blueprint that was set up for us to follow, man. And that's why we constantly go out there in the highways and byways to give our people the information and a blueprint that the Heavenly Father set up for us to come back into him so that we can prosper in our ways for the kingdom that is to come, man. But our people keep seeking everything within America, everything in the nation that cannot save them, that's not looking to save them, that hasn't done anything for them, that only rapes, robs, and murders from them. You're not going to get anything done, man. There can't be no vision here. In a land of slave, in a land of slavery, how you expect to actually make your vision that you have for the people of some great effect when this has been nothing but the land of slaves, man? You know, that makes no sense. But us here in his truth, we have the vision. Why? Because the Lord made the vision plain unto us by revealing his truth unto us, man. We have the vision, right? Um, I want to go to uh the book of uh uh do 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 stock yeah, Habakkuk. This book of uh Habakkuk uh two you know one it says I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So the Lord said what? Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. And this is what we're doing, you know, because the vision is all that vision has been given to us. The vision has been made plain to us. Our table, you know, uh, is, is the Bible. That's what's laid out in front of us, you know, and we telling the people so that they may run and go tell others about the vision that the Lord has. 
about the vision in which we see that the Lord is bringing to pass every single day. The prophecies that we see rolling around every single day with the mark of the beast, you know what I'm saying, them passing all these uh, uh, legislation to try to ban people from having guns because they know the the uprising and the, and the resurrection of the people is going to happen against the government, man. The martial law, you know, all of the troops running in, Esau coming in like a flood, okay? The mark of the beast, the RFID chip, one of the most important prophecies that we're waiting on now, you know, for them to come in and grab us up and to snatch us up and for us to, and for a lot of brothers to be martyrs for Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, These are the things and the visions in which we see that's going to happen within this present time. But all the sufferings that we have, that's going to bring us into glory, man. But the people don't want to suffer that, 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 that uh, tough pill, man. That's a horse pill. You know, people are like, oh, I don't want to, them pills big as hell, them damn horse pills. People don't want to swallow that pill, man. But this is what's coming, whether you like it or not. Because the vision is for an appointed time. And that appointed time is in our lifetimes as we speak, man. But we can see the vision clarity. We have clarity. We have the clarity of our hope, man. You know? The hope, the things that we long for in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We don't hope within the society. We, we hope, you know, that the Lord can make, allow us to make it day by day to do the necessary things in which we need to do to continue to serve him and be able to hold down our daily basic needs, so on and so forth, just to make it through that we can continue to serve the Lord. But our hope resides with the Lord, man. That's why the scriptures uh, say this. Um, Proverbs, I believe it's 13. Yeah, pro it's Proverbs 13 and 12, and it reads, Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. So right now, what our hope is deferred, meaning what our hope has been put, it seems like it's been put off. But that's why Habakkuk said, hey, uh, uh, you know, the, the vision is yet for an appointed time, but when it shall come, it shall not tarry. Right. So our hope is temporarily being deferred. That's making our, our, our heart sick. You know what I'm saying? Our, our mind is sick because we long to be with the Lord. We long to get out of the slavery and this captivity. But when it cometh, it is a tree of life. It's going to be that, that breath of fresh air, man. That breath of fresh air. So in your mind, with everything that we do within the society, every step that we take, we know is hardships to get to the light that's at the end of the tunnel. So if our people could see, you know, themselves getting a college degree, going four or five years or being a lawyer or a doctor may take, what, eight to 12 years, to whatever, you know, a specific thing that you're going for. If you can see the vision for that and you know it's going to be hard roads ahead of you in order to you to get to that goal. How much more should you trust in the Lord and the Lord's process, man? To know that the hope that we have in the Lord is not in vain. To know it's just deferred for this time being, but in the end, it's all going to pay off, man. And that's what we're doing now. That's why we sacrifice the things within our life that in our life in which we do. Because anyway, because all that stuff is nothing but pure wickedness, but we make these uh, uh, sacrifices in the name of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah, but because we know the desire and the things that we have to come is far greater than this world could ever offer us, man. That's why, man. You know. So we truly have that 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 clarity and that 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 vision. That the hope will come, that the promise will come, the promise that our that our, the heavenly Father laid down to our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is laid out right before right before in front of us, man. It's made straight plain upon the table. We can read it, we can feel it. You know what I'm saying? You uh, what that Benny Siegel song? What I can feel it in the air, man. It's just out there, man. The energy is out there. Esau feeling the vibrations. That's why they're trying to do everything within their power to stop us, man. You know? Real quick, um, is that in um, Romans? Yeah, Romans 8. It is uh Romans 8 and um do, 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 do. Where I wanna start. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Alright, um boom. It's Romans 8 and 22. For we know that the whole cre creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit. And that's us. 
The Lord gave us the first fruits of the spirit. And how do we know that? Because we out there in the highways and byways doing the work. We know and we and we hope, you know, through the spirit that we are part of that elect. But uh, um, through faith, we believe that we're the first fruits but because we know the first fruits, you know, was dead in the beginning with Yahweh Shah creating the worlds now as we know it, man. You know, even we ourselves. So it's saying what the, have given us the first fruits of the spirit, even we ourselves. So it's referring to. You know what I'm saying? To us, that's out there doing the work, man. You know, that's giving the first fruits of the spirits. And that was there with Yahweh Shah creating the world, man. Right? Even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption. So we grown within ourselves. That's a part of that hope being deferred, right? Waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our bodies, man. So this is all we waiting for. A part of a part of that hope, a part of the hope being deferred is for us to get new bodies. For us to be in a whole completely new situation, for us to be the, the future rulers of this earth, how it was, everything was naturally intended to be. For us to have our enemies in subjection, how things were naturally intended to be. You know, the earth being put back in its proper course and not being out of course, how things were naturally intended to be. Right. For we are saved by hope. Right. So what the hope is the things in which we longing for. And if you long for something, you got to be able to see the vision. You got to have that clarity of mind, right? For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. Meaning what? If it was tangibly in front of you, you can't say that's hope because you can see it right there. You, you can touch it. We can't touch our salvation, but we know that it's there. We know that we knocking on the door to it, right? For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Right? So if you if you know, you know what I'm saying? If somebody say, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, you know what I mean, bring you this or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, the, the thing is right in front of your face, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, all right, boom, it's, it's right there. So I know he could get it to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I seen it over there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he had this car part for me. Y'all seen over there at Mark House the other day. I ain't I ain't got a hope. I'm gonna get this car part. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm broke right now. I need, you know what I'm saying? This is then the third, but I ain't got a hope for it because I know he got it, so I ain't got a hope for it. It's there already. I just gotta wait for him to bring it. You know what I'm saying? But if you're in dire or straits, you know what I'm saying, and you hoping for something, you hoping that the Lord is gonna make a way for you somehow, some way. That the Lord is going to make a way when you don't truly see yourself making a way for you. Because we can't make our own way. Man's goings are of the Lord. Therefore, how can man understand his own way? We only understand the way in which the Lord set for us. That's the way for us to go. That's all we understand. Right? And that's all we need to understand. Because let the Lord handle everything else. Just know, We just got to know that we're in the good hands. That's where that faith comes from. Which from the root word for dead. Which means what? To trust, man. Trusting in the Lord. Having that hope in the Lord, having that clarity and that vision to see the Lord is going to come through with what he promised us. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. So the Lord wants us to have that patience in order to wait for uh, uh, what he going to give us. And during that waiting period, what we got to put in that work, we got to show our worth. We got to show that we are really about the Lord and that we're putting the Lord first above all things upon the face of the earth. So this is this whole trial training uh, 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 time until we make what the all star game, so to speak, man. But because the scriptures say in Daniel 12 and 3. Uh, and, and they that have turned many into righteousness shall shine bright as the stars forever and ever. Right. So, hey, we waiting with patience. We we in training camp. We in mini camp, boot camp, whatever you want to call it. And I'm saying hoping to make that all star game. man. And we got to have patience. We got to keep balling and doing our thing until the until you know what I'm saying our number get called, man. And hope we up on the, 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 the starting lineup or just make the lineup of the all star team, man. You know. But it all starts with you having that vision and you having that hope, man, you know. And the most beautiful thing about it is that the Lord allowed us to see it. The Lord gave us the vision. The Lord gave us the hope. All we got to do is grab at it and hold on to it and keep pushing, man, you know. So, you know, once, you know, I just hope this uh, segment was edifying. 
you know, uh, the clarity of our hope. You know what I'm saying? It's there, brothers. We can see it every single day playing out in this world. You can see it every single day in which the way you're being treated by people, the, the hardships, the trials, the tribulations, the things is only going to get tougher. But that hope that we have for, nobody can take that from us, man. Let no man take that crown, as it says in Revelation, is the third chapter, man. You know, we are our own worst enemy. So don't let your own mind destroy you, man, you know. Keep pressing on in the name of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushah, and I hope that we have in the Lord, man. So with that, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashmi Yahushah, Bashmi Kakwadash, Double One, and to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek out there doing this work of faith, labor of love, truth, sincerity. Shalom.